thousands of fans celebrating the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win scramble for their lives when gunfire erupts at a rally. A mother of two is killed and an astonishing 20 other 21 other people suffered gunshot wounds. Sandra Mitchell joins us live from the KTLA News Center with new developments on this tragic news. Sandra. Sarah, Micah, the very latest on the victims. We are just getting an update about the woman who was killed. Of those 22 people shot today, nine of the gunshot victims are children. The youngest is just six years old. Three people have been detained and police have recovered at least one weapon. Just moments after the Super Bowl victory celebration, victims on gurneys and bleeding on the ground, mass panic, a shooting after the Chiefs rally in Kansas City, Missouri. And now the Kansas City Star is identifying the woman who was killed as Lisa Lopez Galvan, a Kansas City resident, wife and mother of two adult children. Several of the other shooting victims are young children. I want to clarify that we have had 12 patients that we have treated, 11 of which are children with nine gunshot wounds. None of those patients, we ex all of those patients we expect to have a full recovery, none of which are in critical condition. People in the crowd shouting, he's got a gun. Police now confirming three people have been detained. Officers chased down one of the suspects and another appeared to be tackled by fans. I have heard that as well. I have heard that, that fans got involved in the apprehension or the pursuit of one of the suspects. I cannot confirm that right now, but that is something that I have heard myself. Fan Alyssa Marsh Contreras spoke with KTLA. She says her father was one of those who took down a gunman. My dad, along with another good Samaritan, running, jumping and just tackling the second offender. Um, as they tackled him, the weapon fell out. A cop was able to secure that. After that, I just remember yelling, you know, cops, we need cops over here. Somebody come over here. Um, not much longer. Multiple cops come over, um, get on top of this guy, make sure he's clear of everything. And then after that, we were just all free to go. From an aerial view, watch the suspect get tackled. Now, a closer look. Even as bystanders wrestle with that suspect, watch as a woman in the crowd picks up what appears to be a rifle that came from the man and places it nearby. Thousands of people were there. The Kansas City Chiefs players and their families, fans, the governors of Kansas and Missouri, also the mayor of Kansas City attending with his family. And his first reaction now is anger and frustration. I don't want us to have to in our country for every big event. Think about a concern of being shot. President Biden has been in touch with the Kansas City Police. He's now offering the full resources of federal investigators. Police also saying in that late afternoon news conference that there might have been actually two separate shooting scenes. For now, live in News Center, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Share. Micah, back to you. Sandra, thank you. Stay with KTLA for the latest updates on the deadly parade shooting in Kansas City. We'll have another update at 530, and you can always find the latest at KTLA.com or by downloading the free KTLA 5 app.